Good evening, everybody. Let me introduce myself, Mrs. Shailja Suresh Babu, because you are new guys to me. My main advice is that in the new section, start with a positive spirit and enthusiasm. Okay. Today we will start with the mathematics of standard nine. The first lesson is number systems. In number system, different set of numbers are there. All the numbers systems I will explain in detail. First of all, natural numbers. Natural numbers. The definition you can see. The natural numbers are the collection of infinite counting numbers and is denoted by n. Infinite counting numbers means the numbers which we used for counting. Counting means one, two, three, four, etc. That are the counting numbers. Therefore, the collection of that counting numbers I written in the form n is equal to set to one, two, three, four. The smallest natural number is one. The next one is whole numbers. Listen here, whole numbers. What is coming? Zero, one, two, three, eight, four, etc. Therefore, we can de define here. If we include the zero to the collection of natural numbers, zero also including to the collection of natural numbers. We will get the collection of whole numbers and is denoted by W. That means here in along with the natural numbers one, two, three, four, which number we added zero. Therefore, the including zero, that means zero, the set of zero, one, two, three, four, etc. We are calling as whole numbers. So just we can combine these two number systems. You see, can you say that natural numbers are whole numbers? So you just compare here. Well, the natural numbers means one, two, three, four. This one, two, three, four are came in the whole number system. Yes. This one, two, three, four are already came in the number system, whole number system. Therefore, natural numbers uh, are included in whole numbers. But reverse, you think whole numbers are natural numbers? Is it correct? Yes or not? We can compare. See now, whole numbers which are numbers coming zero, one, two, three, four. This all the numbers are came in natural numbers. No, which number is not came zero? Zero is not came in natural numbers. Therefore, all whole numbers are not natural numbers, but all natural numbers are whole numbers. Next, we go to integers. If we include negative numbers to the collection of whole numbers, negative that is whole numbers starting from where onwards? Zero onwards. Zero, one, two, three, etc. We are calling as whole numbers. Along with the zero, one, two, three, four, we will add negative numbers minus one, minus two, minus three. Also, including along with the whole numbers, we will get integers. That is the definition we I written here. If we include negative numbers to the collection of whole numbers, we get the collection of integers and is denoted by z. That means whole numbers zero, one, two, three, four. Along with we added minus one, minus two, minus three, etc. Therefore, this all together, what we are calling integers. This all uh, integers I already marked on a number line. Okay, I drawn a number line here. Number line mid, uh, I marked the zero here, and right side I marked the one positive integers one two three four six seven etc. And left side I marked the negative numbers minus one minus two minus three minus four etc. First point here one one unit I marked in this all, and when you know that is here I written one left side what I written zero, so zero is less than one, and here two written left side I written one. The meaning is that one less than two. The meaning is that when the numbers are going to the left side of the number line, the value is decreasing. That means here you can see here I written four and left side what I written three, so three is less than four, and here five written left side what I written four. Four is less than five. Therefore, with the numbers are going the left side of the number line, the the numbers value is decreasing. So, on this number line, which number is the smallest one? Minus seven is the smallest. One. That is minus seven is less than minus six, and minus seven is less than zero. Minus seven is less than one, etc. Now, now the letter I written here is it? Is it comes from the German word Sahel? Which means to count. That means what the meaning of Sahelian is to count, count the numbers. 
then therefore the letter result came from which word sahlen that is been the german word sahlen and here here also we can compare just like the previous case here you can see w or the whole numbers are included in integers and reverse question is that is all integers are whole numbers that both we can think properly listen here first step first question is that all whole numbers are integers yes or no you think you yourself see all whole numbers are integers when asking questions you remember whole numbers you take 0 1 2 3 etc are the whole numbers these all whole numbers are came in the integer system s yes. whole numbers all came here therefore all whole numbers are integers now reverse you think all integers are whole numbers all integers taking you take a minus one minus one came in the whole, whole number system no and minus two came in the whole number system no and minus three came in the whole number system no therefore can you say all integers are whole numbers no therefore all whole numbers are integers but reverse all integers are not whole numbers okay we will go to the next point now the next number system is rational numbers a number is called a rational number if it can be written in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 and it is denoted by q and rational numbers come from the came from the word ratios and q came from the word quotient and first of all we will think about the rational numbers so which are the rational numbers can you say 5 is a rational number yes because 5 we can write in the form 5 by 1 uh, or 10 by 2 and can you say 5.1 is a rational number 5.1 is a rational number when asking then you think 5.1 can i able to express in the form p by q where p and q both are integers and second condition is that q not equal to 0 both the conditions are satisfying it is a rational number so 5.1 we can write in the form 51 by 10 5.1 we can write in the form 51 by 10 so 51 is integer and denominator 10 also integer and 10 not equal to 0 therefore whenever i am asking a question is it a rational number asking question asking you only see the condition it can able to write in the can able to write in the form p by q and second condition is q not equal this both the conditions are satisfying it is a rational number any numbers you think either it may be in decimal form or it is a fraction or it is an integer or it is a whole number or it is a natural number any numbers when i am asking question you uh, only think these two condition it can able to express in the form b by q and second condition q not equal to zero coming or not okay therefore um, uh, we can analyze natural number natural number is a rational number yes natural number you take one two three four these all numbers we can write in the b by q form one we can write as 5 by 5 and 6 by 6 or 7 by 7 so 7 is all 7 is an integer and the denominator q not equal to 0 this all conditions satisfying that only we want to verify and whole numbers whole numbers can be able to express in the form b by q yes first whole number you see 0 0 we can write write in the future format 0 by 1 0 by 6 0 by 5 etc so in that way when a question asking you think the condition it can able to express in the p by q form first condition second condition q not equal to 0 coming then it is a rational number so i have written one example also here first example written minus 25 how i have written minus 25 by 1 here minus 25 written here 1 written here p p means p by q form in p by q form what is p minus 25 and q is how much coming 1 and this one is not equal to 0. Both the conditions came. P by Q form also came. And Q not equal to 0 came. If these two conditions are satisfying. That type of numbers all are rational numbers. And here I written. Rational numbers also includes. Which are the numbers? Natural numbers coming. Whole numbers coming. And images coming. So we can compare now. Can you say all natural numbers are rational numbers? Yes. All natural numbers are coming in rational numbers. And whole numbers, whole numbers starting from 0 onwards. So all the uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all we can write in the P by Q form. Therefore, all the whole numbers are also coming in the rational numbers. Second, third one, what I written here. 
whole numbers and integers. Integers means all integers minus 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. These all numbers we can write, write in which form p by q and q not equal to 0. So that is only the, your condition. And next condition reverse you think. All irrational numbers are integers. All rational numbers are integers. Can you say all rational numbers are integers? Can write all rational numbers are integers you think about properly. So these all conditions I written properly and given and the condition is this much only. The rational numbers which can able to express in the form p by q and q not equal to c. Therefore next point you see equivalent rational numbers equivalent rational numbers equivalent that means the values are equal. So here I written some equal two cases I written 1 by 2 2 by 4, 3 by 6 and 4 by 8. This all values you see. This is all the values. When we are simplifying, you can see it is equal to 1 by 2. So how you will get the equivalent fractions? So here you can see 1 by 2. 1 by 2. What I done here? Here numerator also multiplied by 2 and denominator also multiplied by 2. Therefore what you got 2 by 4. And here, here 1 by 2 is equal to 2 by 4 is equal to 3 by 6 and equal to 4 by 8. Here these all rational numbers are equal. We, we can verify here. No? Now this 1 by 2 what I done here. 2 by 4 how about? So here numerator multiplied by 2. Same number multiplied in the denominator also. So 2 by 4 here. Here I multiplied by 3. Here also multiplied by 3. Therefore 3 by 6. And here I multiplied by 4. And here I multiplied by 4. Therefore 4 by 8. Now when we are simplifying these all. All the values are equal to 1 by 2. So these all are equal fractions. So that type of fractions we are calling as equivalent rational numbers. And next, same example only, 3 by 2. 3 by 2 also I have done the same other only. Here both the places I multiplied by 2. Here multiplied by 2, 3 into 2, 6. And here multiplied 2 into 2, 4. 3, 6 by 14. Here multiplied by 3, 3 into 3, 19. And 3 into 2, 6. Same number multiply upon, not different numbers. And here also again, 4 I multiplied 4 into 3, 12 and 4 into 2, 8. So these all when we are simplifying you can see the fractions values are same. That type of different different fractions we are calling as equivalent rational numbers. Next, next I have written one example and these examples answers you only want to find out because these all exam questions answer I already explained in the previous case. So first question I will read. Every whole number is a natural number. The question is that true or false? Give you a reason. You find out by yourself. And second question. Every integer is a rational number. That also I explained in the previous case. And third case one. Every rational number is an integer. Here you need some clarification. These two cases I explained properly. And this one you see. Every rational number is an integer. Every rational number taking rational number means I, I told you. 6.3 is a rational number. 6.3 is a rational number, but 6.3 is not an integer. 6.3 is a rational number, but 6.3 is an integer. No. Therefore, that that you uh, select some examples, then you can come to the conclusion. Example taking, then only in mathematics we can able to reach some conclusions. So these are all three questions you solve by yourself. Okay, friends. Thank you. Bye.